Uh, hey YouTube, this is Josh, and uh, right now I'm showing you a shot of a uh, Candelictus anemone that I've got inside a piece of live rock inside of my nano cube. Uh, in the process of uh, acclimating them, I'm just going to give you a history of what I did. Uh, the dark piece of rock there is a uh, live rock that I purchased from Petco, and you just happen to have this anemone in it. All the white rock that you see surrounding that is just base rock. Uh, that I started my tank with. Uh, the idea here is uh, starting with some base rock slowly and then just adding one piece of live rock. Uh, hopefully all that uh, good bacteria and stuff will spread to my base rock uh, over time and uh, healthier for the tank overall I think in the long run. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive to start your entire tank with live rock so a uh, method that I use is starting out with a lot of base rock and then just adding uh, little pieces of live rock to kind of help the tank get going. Uh, but I actually didn't come to the store uh, to purchase this piece of live rock at all today. I actually came for an anemone and I uh, wanted to just talk a little bit about how I acclimated him. Uh, hopefully you can try the same thing. Sometimes I float him, sometimes I drip him. Uh, in this case what I did is I floated this guy. So uh, I got the piece of base rock which already had the anemone in it uh, from Petco. Uh, this piece of live rock was about uh, 20 bucks and the anemone was about 7 bucks. And uh, so they just put the whole thing in a bag for me. I brought it home. Uh, I, I put the whole bag closed uh, in the tank. I uh, let it sit in the tank and float for it. didn't really float because it's a piece of rock, so I just sat it on top of all my other rock here. I uh, let it sit in there for about 25 minutes, and then I opened the bag uh, and then took about a cup of water from my tank uh, and poured it uh, just slowly uh, into the bag and let that sit for five minutes. Uh, after that five minutes, I took another cup of water from my tank and slowly poured it into the tank. So uh, in that Petco bag, I've got some of their water, and then I've got two cups of my water. And uh, you know, one cup for five minutes, and then another cup for five minutes. Uh, and then after that 35-minute period, I, I took the whole rock uh, out of the bag and just kind of gently and, and slowly lowered it into the tank. And uh, so the piece of live rock and the uh, anemone has been uh, just kind of sitting there ever since. And uh, he's been inside the rock the whole time, and he was inside the rock at the store. I uh, kind of curled up like that. Uh, he stayed curled up uh, in the bag, and even when I took him out of the bag and uh, put the rock in here, he, he really hasn't uh, moved much. You can kind of see some tentacles uh, waving there. But anyway, that's how I accumulated him. Uh, I've got other anemones that I've done um, through um, a float method and, and then a drip afterward. I've got another video posted here, so you can check that one out as well. Uh, just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, hopefully uh, it'll work for me and uh, if, if you repeat the process, uh, hopefully it'll work for you as well. So uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thanks.